championship game between the La Salette Lions and the Marist South Suburban Cobras. Uh, we did come a little bit late to this game. We were broadcasting B-side before this, so uh, we do apologize for being late. It is 5-0. The Cobras are winning. Uh, Liam, how do you feel about this game? I'm feeling pretty good about it. The Seaside has definitely had a great program coached by Mr. Lanthier, really bringing them some great development early on. They've been strong the entire year. Hopefully they can pull away this win. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see them. They were at the state championship last year. In fact, they are the defending champions. So they're, they're here trying to uh, defend their title against South Suburban. Some of these players on this South Suburban team were actually playing in the D2 varsity game. The B side played them earlier this year. See some familiar faces. So definitely trading players around. Lions now in possession of the ball. Patrick McDonald is going to take it in. Support is there. Roman Katsas with the ball. Good job driving his legs through contact there. Seaside has definitely changed a lot. Uh, a lot of the old Seaside players have moved on to uh, to higher levels to play B side or Division Two varsity, um, and it's they've now been replaced by freshmen and sophomores, and they've actually done pretty well this year for themselves. Cobra is now with the ball, counter rucked it away, giving it to their backs. Cook there with a good tackle, but they're going to offload it. Nice double tackle by Tony Carlisle and Sam Green. Cadano with the tackle there. Good job. Lions need to keep their defense going. The Cobras are really pounding in with their forwards with their extra size. Looks like a poach. Cleared out. Cobras give it to their backs. Seamus Hanlon with the tackle. Something the Lions are going to have to battle with is the Cobra's size. Good job by Tony Carlisle there to bring him down. Lions defense needs to spread. Cobra's getting dangerously close with the break. 13 has a channel. He's going to bring it in for the try. 10-0 Cobra's. Fortunately, the Lions defense wasn't spread far enough out there. We're able to find some numbers on the outside. I think what the Lions just need to do here is make sure that they maintain possession of the ball and uh, that they're able to use their speed to their advantage because even though they're a little bit smaller, they might, uh, they might be a little quicker than the other team. So number 15 for the Cobras is going to attempt a conversion kick and it is no good it is wide left leaves the score at 10-0 Lions going to bring the ball up for the restart kick Connor Hanlon with the ball he'll be doing the kickoff Connor Hanlon and Seamus Hanlon both brothers playing in this game together she Connor looked like he saw a gap there. Wanted to go for a quick kick, but Cobra's shifted outside quickly. There's the restart. Good high kick. Fielded by the Cobras. Cobras with some speed there. Brought nice. down. Nice tackle by Enzo Nice out there on the wing, number 11. Cobras continuing to pound it in with their forwards. Definitely with their size advantage. They now give it to their backs. It's going to take it into contact. Ball is fumbled there. Looks like it'll be a knock on. Scrum down to the lines. Nine looked like he got his hands on it, but unfortunately he dropped it. So, Lions will have a scrum down. Lions are doing pretty well in the uh, B-side game. I think last they were up 23-20. I don't know what the score is now. But uh, 
You definitely won't want to go anywhere after this game either because you've got the A-side playing. The Lions are in the state championship versus Glen Ellen. So definitely won't want to miss that. Lions scrum here. Sam Green doing the putting in is number nine. And the Cobras will take it away. Cobras backs have it now. A missed tackle there by Patrick McDonald. They're going to find some room on the outside. Enzo Nice is in pursuit. He's not going to be able to bring him down. Cobra thought to put it down immediately, but he's going to run it to the middle. And another try for Maris South Suburban. Now at 15 to 0. Pulling away quickly. Lions need to close their gaps and try to put some points on the board. Mr. Jason Lanthier is the seaside coach. Lions having a hard time finding the numbers to match on defense, taking multiple people to bring down some of the players. Mayor South Suburban Ford Pack definitely has that size advantage there. Cobra's kick is good. Bumping their score up to 17. <laughs> Lions need to come out with some uh, aggressive energy and some intensity here. And as long as they maintain possession of the ball and just swing it out wide, they should be able to get some points on the board. Nice tackle there by Sebastian Cook on the outside. Attempted poach by Connor Hanlon, but he's driven off the ruck. Good tackle there. Carlos Speck with the tackle. Swinging it out to their backs now. 12 is going to take it in. Brought down. I believe that was Thomas Mackin. Ball comes loose. It's going to be a knock on. Scrum down to the Lions. Lions need to keep the possession of this scrum. Lions have quite a deep bench over there, so should Mr. Lanthier decide to switch any players out. They have uh, plenty of options to choose from over there. Seaside's bench has done pretty well uh, this year. Thomas Mackin with the ball. He's going to take it into contact, go down. Supports there. Seamus Hanlon with it. Sam Green gets caught up trying to get it. Looked like that was in from the side there, but Sir didn't see it. Might not have been either. Marisol Suburban with the ball. Ball's and lost forward. A knock by the Cobras, so it will be lost let scrum at just about the 50-meter uh, line. A scrum down to the lines once again. Lions keep possession of the ball. Sam Green trying to feed the ball back. He's going to get it. Ball's out. Even to Patrick McDonald. He's going to take that into contact. Supports there. Sam Green takes it quickly. Sebastian Cook with it on the outside. Breaks the tackle.
Patrick McDonald with a good snag out of the air. Trying to hold him up. Ball is stripped. Pretty sure his knees were down, though. Sir is going to call obstruction on Mayor South Suburban. Patrick McDonald has done a great job this year of running into contact and uh, driving his legs. You can you can use a lot of power to his advantage. Connor Hanlon trying to find touch with that kick. He's not going to find it. Nice job by Tony Carlisle dragging him out of bounds. Be the Lions line out. Carlos Speck will do the throwing in for the line out. Nice job by Roman Katsas, the jumper. Thomas Mackin with it to Patrick McDonald. Takes it into contact. Support is there. Nice pass. That's a really good combination of having Thomas Mackin and uh, Patrick McDonald. And then you've got Enzo Nice on the wing. Enzo Nice brought down there on the outside. Sebastian Cook with it. Tackle is made. Sam Green swinging it back to the close side of the pitch. Patrick McDonald with it again. Roman Katsos. I'm um, not sure what that was there, but that will be a collapsing the ruck. Penalty awarded to the Lions. Joseph Sumantri kicking for <laughs> touch, but instead it. Looks like he hooked the ball with the inside of his foot, so it'll be going out the back of the try zone. A little bit too much sauce on that kick, but either way, Lions continue to bring intensity here. So like the Sirs deciding what to do here. Probably be a scrum down at the place of the kick or about the place of the kick. And it will be. Mr. Lanthier, I'm sure, very proud of his team. He coached Seaside to their state championship last year. And since then, there have been some major improvements in the rugby program at La Salette. Uh, and with the assistance of uh, Mr. Hayes and uh, even Father Bevan's arrival, Lions have been able to uh, really make some large advancements in the program. Ball was knocked on there by the... Mayor of South Suburban Cobras. Looks like there's a water break. Water break is a newer rule. Allowing the, either of the teams to request for a water break. Quite a hot day outside today, so definitely won't be surprised to see uh, more water breaks, especially as we get later into the afternoon. The A-side game is at 3 o'clock, so definitely right in the, right the heat of the day. Lions are ready to retake the field. And the Sir is just waiting on the Marist South Suburban Cobras to finish their huddle. I don't know about you, Liam, but I've really liked what I've seen today. Um, Lions have just, doesn't matter the score, they're, uh, they're playing hard and they, uh, they really know the game well, that's that's for sure. That's true. Mr. Lanther doing a great job teaching them the rules and the how-to of the game. 
as you said earlier, greatly improving the development of the, the rugby program for the, the younger grades, bringing them up towards A side progressively. Looks like the sir is going to call the teams back onto the field now. Connor Hanlon talking to his team. He is the seaside captain for this game. As the Lions get ready for a scrum down. At about the 35 meter line in Maris territory. Sam Green doing the putting in once again. Lions really looking to capitalize off this territory here. Bring the ball in for a try. Patrick McDonald with a good recovery there off of an interesting pass. Not releasing the uh, tackled player there by the Marist South Suburban Cobras. He just decided to take the ball. So it'll be a back 10 for the Lions. Connor Hanlon looking to find touch again. Once again, it will fall short. Really needs to get those kicks into touch. Yeah, if he's able to capitalize on those kicks, the Lions are definitely going to be able to make up uh, a lot of meters with those, uh, those line outs. Really great counter ruck there just a second ago by Sebastian Cook and uh, Roman Katsos allowing the ball, uh, the Lions, excuse me, to get the ball back. High tackle on Henry Betts will give the Lions another back 10. And there's a nice kick by Connor Hanlon. That one is finding touch. Great territory gain for the Lions. If the Lions are able to score here, they might be able to get some sort of momentum going for them. And I believe Roman Katsos and either Joseph Cadano or Henry Betts. I'm not sure who's the other jumper. Carlos is throwing to Seamus. Doesn't quite go the way he wants it to. It's going to be another high tackle, though, off of the recovery of that ball. Connor trying to decide what to do here. He's going to go for more territory with another kick to touch. Great idea. Good choice by Hanlon. Lions looking to now swing the ball out since they're on the far end of the pitch. Apologize if you are not able to see that. It's quite crowded. We do have a bit of fans in attendance from both teams. So we did have trouble finding a spot to set up here. Roman Katsos jumping. He's going to get his hands on that. Lions ball. Thomas Mackin looking for a gap. Passes it to Patrick McDonald. He's going to take it in. Support has to be that arm is around his neck. It's going to be another high tackle. That's probably going to be a card for the third one in a row. Would not be surprised if I saw a card come out. Sir is going to talk with the players. And there it is. There's the card. So the South Suburban Marist Cobras will be playing a player down for I believe it is 10 minutes. I'm not sure if there's a different time setting for the seaside. But and as I said earlier, the uh, that combination there with Thomas Mackin and Patrick McDonald is becoming quite deadly. Mackin's able to draw his defenders in towards him and then dish it right to McDonald and uh, they're really able to get a lot of meters that way. Roman Katsas took the ball in. Looks like he was held down. So they're going to call a second movement on him. Sebastian Cook with another great tackle there to prevent that breakaway off the quick tap. Unfortunate play. Nice job by Enzo Nice on the outside. Sumantri telling the Lions that they need a spread right. That ball does not look like it was kicked through the mark, so he's going to call it back. Looks like the Lions did not roll away on that tackle. 
Ball's going to find touch. Line out to the Cobras. The Lions really do need a spread on defense. I think that'll help them prevent uh, prevent any gaps. As you saw in the last couple of plays, Sumatri was trying to tell his team to move to the right. So if the Lions can just shift down, they should be okay. That's right. The fullback has the best eyes on the field when it comes to defense, so the team really needs to listen to him and taken what he's saying. Cobra's now with the ball. Tackled by Patrick McDonald. Cobra's swinging it out to their backs. Henry Betts is going to be able to swing him back around and come, with, come up with the tackle there. Nice job by Henry. Sebastian Cook holding on. He's going to get some assistance from Ben Blood. Nice job by Carlos Speck there and Henry Betts coming in with a double tackle. Sumo calling the Lions defense left. As you can see there, a little bit of a gap for the Cobras to take advantage of. Nice tackle on the outside by Enzo Nice on the far side of the field. Cobras now bringing it back to the close side of the pitch. Still finding meters with that forward play. Giving it to their backs now. 12 is going to find a gap at speed. But Kadana with a great tackle. They're able to prevent that breakthrough. And nine just standing there with the ball. Kadana's going to grab him and bring him to ground. It's going to be a penalty award to the Lions. Lions are getting a lot of oh, um, penalties in their favor so they just need to make sure that they take advantage of those and uh, take them as opportunities to gain meters and hopefully to score. Connor Hanlon there does find touch with a great kick for territory. Unfortunately, the Division II team was not able to come away with the win. Sorry, we could not broadcast the last part of that game. Score was 27-23 in favor of the Predators. Lions now with the ball. Sebastian nice Cook. Find numbers. Connor Hanlon on the outside. He's going to come back in. Breaking tackles. Finally will go down. Thomas Mackin with it. Good support there for the Lions. Green to Katsas in the forward pod. Nice job by Seamus Hanlon, the big gate man taking it in. Thomas Cook, sorry, excuse me, Sebastian Cook, finding a little bit of a gap there. Mackin to McDonald again. Green to, Green to Katsas, who evades a tackle. Nice evasion there by Roman. Ben Blood takes that in there. Sam Green looking for what to do. Thomas Mackin calls for it. Left. Enzo Nice breaks a tackle. But he's going to be brought down. An aggressive clear. I do believe that is collapsing the ruck, though. So the Lions will be, yes, the Lions will be awarded the penalty there. Can't come diving off your feet into the ruck there. Sorry, I was just going to say, Enzo Nice does have uh, quite a bit of speed, like his brother Michael, who also plays wing. So if the Lions are able to get it out to him and they've got numbers, he might be able to squeak one in on the side. Lions are going to kick to touch. It's going to be the Lions line out. Once again, dangerously close to the try zone of the Cobras. Hoping to pound it in for a try.
Lions opted for a close lineout to the first man in the lineout. So the ball just goes directly to the first man instead of the jumper. Bit of a strategic play. Lions still retain possession. Seamus Hanlon with the ball. Cobra's aggressively counter-rucking. Green deciding to swing the ball now. Thomas Mackin with some meters. Needs support. It's there. Sam Green quickly swinging it to Sebastian Cook. Room on the outside. Knock on advantage to the Cobras. Obstruct into touch. But it will come back to the knock on advantage. I, th I thought the Sir would call obstruction there as well, but I will go back to the advantage. Lions just really need to find their momentum right now. They're kind of just, it's not that they're not trying, they're just, uh, certainly are playing very hard, but it's just difficult to get something going, especially when the other team's so much uh, bigger and stronger than you. So the Lions will have to resort to their knowledge of the game and their their speed and conditioning to to try to get some points. And there's a breakaway by the Maris number 12, who's brought down by Joseph Sumantri. And Lions doing some fierce counter-rucking. And it will be an advantage to La Salette. Connor now looking for touch. He will find it. few alumni in attendance today. It's like Max Bavick is on the sideline cheering on the lines as well as Jeb Bergman, graduate of last year. It's good to see the alumni coming out to show their support. Roman Katsas with the ball, Sam Green, Thomas Mackin. McDonald with that Carry there into contact. An aggressive counter ruck by the Cobras once again. Seamus Hanlon with the tackle. Lions do a good job on offense of running onto the ball. Saw McDonald catch that ball on a dead sprint. That's exactly what the Lions want. And if they're able to find a gap, then it's there for the taking. Seamus Hanlon doing another good job of bringing down their players. Tony Carlisle with the tackle there. Tony's going to want to stay there and not move so that he's not called for obstructing play. McDonald there, the, the tackle. Good double tackle by the Lions there. However, it'll be a penalty awarded to Marist. Looks like Sue Montre had his hands in there trying to grab the ball. Cobras with it dangerously close. Advantage to the Cobras, it looks like. The Lions have to start setting up their try line defense. Cobras swinging it to the backs now, hoping to squeak it in on the outside. A good tackle by Sebastian Cook. Oh, great job driving him back for a few meters. And possibly the Lions will be able to hold the Cobra's up here in the try zone. Another dominant tackle from Sebastian Cook, doing a good job driving them back. So he's going to call it short. Cobra's will be able to pound it in, though, for another try. Good job by the Lions defense, though. We saw Sebastian Cook 
with a few dominant tackles there driving the back for a few meters. And that's exactly what we like to see is some aggressiveness and just some real energy in the game. Sebastian Cook is one of those players that uh, really plays hard no matter what. And it's good to see him trying his best out there. Lions huddling up under their tri-posts as Maris South Suburban prepares for the kick. Number 15 doing the kicking. And his kick is good. And that is halftime. The Sir blows the whistle. Uh, we will take a quick break here, as will the players. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in a couple minutes. Thank you.
Welcome back, Lasolette sports fans, to the Lions Media Network for the second half of the Seaside State Championship game between the Lasolette Lions and the Marist South Suburban Cobras. I'm Blaze Laronia here with Daniel Bergman taking over for Liam Bentz. Daniel, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, and yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Lions, unfortunately, are down. Score is 24 to 0. As Connor Hanlon prepares for the kickoff. There it is. Fantastic kick there by Connor. He's been working all season in the in the extra time, putting in time with his kicks. He's got quite a boot. And a breakaway by the Cobras. Number 13's taking it all the way. And that will be a try right off the bat for Marist South Suburban. Unfortunate for the Lions. Just right right there on the outside. They they didn't spread enough and Maris was able to break through there. Unfortunate to see we've we've kind of seen it a little bit in the B side too. The the defense has been uh, back on their back foot and they haven't been ready to make those tackles. They're not chopping their feet. And uh, we saw a little bit of those problems here. Seaside needs to spread out. Right, right. So the Lions now deeper in their deficit, 29 to 0. As number 15's kick is good. So the Lions just need to keep focusing on the next play. Definitely been some huge improvements in the rugby program as we were talking about uh, earlier. Mr. Lanthier, Mr. Hayes, and uh, Father Bevan adding a lot of new uh, new coaching skills and just really enhancing the rugby program in general. So it's good to see these young players getting some experience. Yeah, many freshmen and sophomores putting in a lot of extra time learning how to play rugby from a really early age. Uh, really put in a lot of extra time and work. And as you can see, their tackling is phenomenal. And just how young they are, they play very well, even against teams that are older and bigger than they are. Maris taking it in with their forwards. Oh, and uh, good tackles there. I mean, you can see just how small the Lions are in comparison to these Marist guys and yet they're still just hitting them hard, making excellent tackles, playing hard. Yeah, Lions definitely not giving up in their aggressiveness and their intensity that they're playing with. Making sure they're spread flat. It looks like we got a knock on. Nice job by Sebastian Cook, taking it for a large number of meters. Yeah, there, there it is again. I mean, you can see just how energized they are. I mean, even if they're down, they're still getting the ball. They're still wanting to play hard. And wow, look at Enzo Nice. Enzo Nice going for the try zone, going toward the middle of the post. And there's La Salette's first try. What a play by Connor Hanlon there, taking in the defenders, both of them committing to it, offloading it to Enzo. Enzo cuts to the outside. Excellent play there by the Lions. Classic formula given uh, by Father Bevan with the old uh, Head and run. That's just great teamwork there by the Lions. Enzo Nice, speedy on the outside, number 11. Taking it all the way in for a try. Lions are on the board, five points. So the Cobras now lead 31 to five as Joseph Sumantri is going to kick for the conversion, assisted by Joseph Mackin. Hopefully the Lions can uh, can spark their momentum with this try and maybe put some more points on the board. It's another point to note. The Lions uh, especially have always been renowned for their conditioning and uh, even this year, even in the first half, they've been down a couple times and Seaside has sh shown that they uh, their conditioning is better than most teams. And So maybe there's uh, still a chance that with, that with that good try from Enzo, they can spark it and beat this team by their good conditioning. 
So the Sir deems the kick no good, I believe. I think so, yes. And so the Cobras will kick off to the Lions once again. Lions ready to do it again. One of the other things that gives the Lions an advantage is I think definitely their, their endurance and their conditioning. Patrick McDonald, what a run. Look at that. Getting the speed on the ball is, is very hard to stop, especially off of a player that's heavier. And it's another thing that the Lions have learned this year. Yeah, another thing Liam and I were talking about uh, last half was how the players were uh, just running out of the ball, just sprinting straight on, and that's that's deadly because if you find a gap, that's uh, that's surely a try. Let's see, look at very, very good job by uh, Seamus Hanlon there, number eight, running onto the ball, making a couple, couple meters, even just because he's just got that forward momentum and it's harder to tackle him. We've learned a lot about that this year. Roman Katza is taking it into contact. Lions doing a good job of rucking. Good forward support. Sam Green to Hanlon to McDonald. Ooh, that looked it a little high. Appears a high tackle, but I'm Ooh. not sure if the Sir is going to call anything. Just got to keep driving. And looks like he called. Offsides, I believe. Penalty awarded to the Lions as Connor Hanlon. His kick will find touch. So the Lions will have themselves a line out just a few meters above the 22 meter line in Maris territory. Let's see if they can get it out to Enzo Nice and uh, bust another try in again. We've seen it happen once and many times besides this game all year long. The great back line that Lost Let uh, does a great job of establishing and training good passes, speed, length. Yeah, speed and length are definitely two of the factors that are uh, really big. If you can get it out to the side, to swing it out fast enough. Green. To Hanlon. Oh, Hanlon cutting inside. In and it's picked off. Unfortunate for the Lions as the Cobras recover the ball. Nice tackle there yep. by Sebastian Cook and Carlos Speck finishing it off. Looks like he knocked it, it hit his leg, and he uh, tapped it forward with his hand. So Lions scrum a little bit, a couple meters past midfield, and then get the ball back and try again. I think the Lions' endurance and conditioning is definitely playing a part. <laughs> the farther in we get into the game, just how the Marist uh, South Suburban guys are walking and, and the Lions are all still running and playing hard. Definitely. Body language says a lot about how hard a team is playing. Enzo Nice chasing down the ball. And he misses the tackle, but he gets them later. Nice job by Enzo Nice, just chasing down that kick. It's a way to establish territory. And a good tackle by Seamus Hanlon, absorbing the momentum. Lions still tackling hard, even against bigger guys. And there go the Cobras to the outside. Number 13 again, he will have himself another try, placing it right in between the posts. Cobras now lead 36 to 5. As the Lions, I think they just need to spread quicker on defense. And I think that would help a lot preventing those outside breakaways. Because I think what happens is the players get sucked into the ruck too much and they're not enough guys, so when they swing it out to the backs, it's easy to get around them. Yeah, and I think uh, another big factor that's coming in 
definitely you can notice the size difference in the back line, and especially when bigger guys are getting on better speed. It's and our and our offense, uh, our defensive, excuse me, our defensive line is on their back foot. The, their size comes into a make a bigger big effect, and it's we need to make sure that we're staying um, with fast feet, as Coach Vitri says, and making ready to make a big tackle, and we can uh, stop their back line from making breaks on us. So the Lions here getting ready to kick off to the Cobras once again. I can say this much for the Lions. They're not going to give up so easily. Even when they're down, they're still going to continue to play. You can still see... Uh, even though they're down about 30 points, they're nevertheless fully locked in, engaged, spread on defense, ready to go and get a get another try if they can. Great kick by Connor Can Connor Hanlon. Nice tackle by Henry Betts, number six. Maris forwards taking it in, gaining a few meters there. Nice double tackle by Roman Katsos and someone else. I couldn't quite see who that was. Maris, South Suburban forwards, pounding it in. It looks like there'll be a penalty awarded to the Lions. Stiff arm to the face, Enzo Nice. Took one for the team there, but nevertheless, we got the ball back. Try to see the Lions. Uh, Connor Hanlon looks like he's going to kick it to touch here. Great kick by Connor. So the Lions will have a line out on the close side of the field. Roman Katsos will be doing the jumping. Assisted by Darren Esparza and Tony Carlisle. He's got nice it. line out. Good passes from Sam Green. Hanlon to McDonald, cutting to the inside. Still on his feet. Nice job by Patrick. Hanlon to Cook. Good drive there by Cook. Still making a couple meters because of his great speed. Same thing with Patrick, making meters, taking tackles, even though they're running into guys bigger than them. One of the nice things about the Lions team is that their forwards are just as speedy as the backs. And it's easier for them to loop around and help the backs when the ball's going down. Enzo Nice and Gordon Borno driving him back. What a tackle. Great well, teamwork. Well done. It's exactly how the Lions uh, continue to show their, their determination and their resolve to keep playing with good double tackles like that, driving their... Sam Green not quite able to get the poach. And Merith South Suburban will knock it. So it'll be a scrum just past the 50-meter line. As Lions set up for a scrum. And the Sur didn't like something, so they'll do it again. It's been a lot of problems in scrums this year, uh, although I can almost guarantee that Lions put in clean scrums. It's uh, usually their opponents who struggle to make good scrums and so often they get their um, 
opposite teams will be penalized for collapsing scrums or driving in or driving upwards. And Lions, however, uh, with their excellent training and their PE, they practice scrums a lot. And a scrum is the scrum is one of the the Lions' strong strong points. Yeah, I can definitely say that uh, we've played very few teams that uh, that scrum well against the Lions this year. Sam Green puts it in. He'll get it out the back. Give it to Hanlon. Connor faking the pass. He'll take it into contact himself. Green getting it out quickly to Cook. To Nice. Nice grabbed by his jersey. Sebastian Cook able to stay in the pitch. Sam Green will grab the ball. Sheamus passing it out to Connor. Connor will take a nice high kick. Nice job by Thomas Mackin and assisted by Roman Kotsis. Great tackle. Another double tackle. That's exactly how the Lions have shown that they're have shown their determination again. Continuing, you can see uh, Connor Hanlon trying to aggressively poach and still still playing hard. Knock on, it looks like, by the South Suburban back line. So the Lions will get the ball back again. The Sir will call a water break for both teams. And I mentioned earlier, I won't be surprised if there will be a lot of water breaks, especially uh, for the A-side game. It's quite hot out. I've really liked what the Lions have been able to do in the first half. Uh, just amazing energy that they that they still have, and just they just keep going no matter what. Michael, are you doing A-side? Lions to huddling up what? at about center field. And the entire La Salette Academy is here in attendance. All the boys are here. And we will welcome back Michael McCall, uh, taking a break, taking over for Daniel Bergman. He's got to go warm up with A-side. Daniel, thank you very much for uh, broadcasting. Yeah, I was just talking to the varsity players is right before they went and warmed up, and they sound ready to go. They said quiet as usual, getting ready to play in the state championship. Oh, I am extremely excited to see how that game turns out. Look at them warming up right now. They've got their McMahon jerseys on, jogging around the field in unison. Oh, it's just uh, it's just going to be a great game. I know it. It's always nice. The Lions always look official when they're warming up. Two straight lines, very organized. Always great to see. And we'll see how they do. Should be a very big game. But for now, Seaside will retake the field. Down by 33 points. Nevertheless, still playing hard and trying their hardest out there. You've seen some real great effort from all the players, especially from Patrick McDonald. If I was, uh, if I was the sir, I think I'd vote him, or not the sir, but the other team, I think I'd vote him player of the match. His, uh, his speed running onto the ball, he's been taking it into contact, uh, passes it out down the back line. Uh, he's overall done a great job for the Lions. Yeah, I was uh, walking past, and I saw Seamus Hanlon. He was uh, <laughs> grabbing the ball, passing it around, you know. You don't see that too often, forwards getting the ball and making good passes. But Yeah, I was just telling Dan is that uh, one of the, the advantages that the Lions have is that their forwards are uh, 
even though they're small, they're still pretty quick and speedy, so they can get around to the uh, they can get around the backs and support them on the outside. As the Cobras get a breakaway, brought down from behind by Joseph Sumantri. Nice job by the Lions, bringing down the Marist forwards. Yes, Sumantri had some open open field tackles, which is great to see from him. Open field tackles are definitely one of the harder tackles to make. And another try scored by the Cobras. Their score is now 43 to 5. Lions just not able to stop their size. You'll notice that this team, they're called the Maris South Suburban Cobras because they are actually a combination of uh, two seaside teams uh, from the Marist Red Hawks and from the South Suburban Cobras. Kick is good. And we have just about a little over 20 minutes left to go. So we'll see how the Lions can finish this up. Hopefully they can get um, another try in, maybe one or two. We'll see how they do. Yeah, it'd be really nice for the Lions to get some more... Uh, more points on the board. Saw Enzo Nies get the try of the game for the Lions. Yeah, the Lions just really got to focus on rucking. I know they've been having a hard time doing that this game. Um, but they just got to get down low, get to the get to the rucks quickly and protect the ball. And then they move the ball around and finally find open space to score. <laughs> and Cobras with another breakaway. Nice tackle by Joseph Sumantri, saving a try there. There we go, another open field tackle. Joseph Sumantri, great job there. And Cobra's taking it out to the side. Lions making sure to stay spread on defense. Lions will have a line out right at the 50 meter mark. Carlos Speck once again doing the throwing for the Lions. Carlos has been a huge part of this team this year. Um, great tackler. Get her getting down low running. And a really hard hit on Patrick McDonald by the Cobras. Looked like there may have been head to head contact or maybe one of the players put his shoulder in right to Patrick's head. So the trainer will take a look at him as both players Go and huddle up. Unfortunate for the Lions. That's something that you definitely don't want to see. Patrick McDonald has been absolutely outstanding this game. And there's Joseph Romero going into the huddle and taking his place. Pretty hard hit. I hope Patrick can come out of this okay. Definitely not something you want to see, especially late game injury. 
Yeah, we've seen a lot of injuries you know, in rugby. It always happens. And um, at least all the injuries I've got, I've seen most players be able to get back up, move around. We know Ray Field got <laughs> Ray Field got hit. Looked pretty bad, but he was able to get back up. And he thankfully is he's actually playing in the game today, which is a huge help for the Lions. You know, Ray Field of Warx back, big tackler. He's able to make big tackles, get around on defense, gets low for offense, and so we're happy to have him back for the varsity game. Looks like Patrick is able to sit up, and he's going to be helped off the field. So that's a good sign. He's walking off the field with minimal assistance. Great performance by Patrick McDonald this afternoon. And again, it is always very sad to see a player have to come, come out of the game. But he is walking on his own two feet, so that's great to see. So the Sir issuing a red card to the Maris South Suburban number eight. So he will take a seat for the rest of the game. And it'll be the Lions ball as we resume the game here. Joseph Romero playing at inside center for Patrick McDonald. is making sure that there is a substitution in. And As she turns the sir signals that the time is back on. <coughs> Roman Katsas taking it in to contact. Nice run by Roman. Green to Hanlon to Mackin. Down the back line it goes. Green's pass to Romero is behind him. And there's an advantage given to the Lions. Nice kick there. Good job by Connor Hanlon. He's got quite a boot and that's come in, come in handy several times as Lions try to make up uh, lost meters. So they will have themselves another line out. Lions continuing to have possession of the ball. And the flag's going to go up and it's going into touch. Another line out in the same place. Hoping to see some speed from the Lions back line. Saw Enzo Nice and Joseph Sumantri himself is pretty fast, adding some speed to the team. Cobras come away with it. Almost drop it. Nice tackle by Thomas Mackin. Great tackle there. Held on to him and brought him down to the ground. So we'd like to see from the the seaside getting the fundamentals down. Nice job by Carlos Speck. Bringing down the big forward. As the Cobras get a breakaway. Lions able to bring him down just in front of the try line. Cobras taking it in with their forwards. Lions refusing them entry to the try zone. Hopefully the Lions can keep up their try defense. The Lions now regain possession of the ball. 
Nice job by, I believe that was Roman Kotsas. Nice job by Connor Hanlon, kicking the ball out there and recovered by Joseph Romero on the far sideline. He is tackled into touch. Great job by the Lions. They're able to save a try and then get out of danger there. Not a good situation to be in. Great kick by Connor Hanlon and a nice recovery by Joseph Romero. And it'll be the Cobras line out. Just about the 22 meter line. The jumpers go. Cobras will get the ball. Gordon Bornos with a nice tackle there. Nice job by Tony Carlisle dragging the forwards back. And Maris South Suburban gets a breakaway. But Enzo Nee says no. And there's another try for the Cobras, placing it in between the posts. Now increasing their lead. Great effort there from the Lions. They were able to stop the Cobras from getting it once. They were able to get the ball back and they kicked it away and um, the Cobras were unfortunately able to get back and put the ball in the try zone, but a great effort there on the Lions defense. He was talking about it with Dan Bergman earlier. The Lions do not give up very easily. No matter what the score, they will play their hardest. We've certainly seen that. And that kick is punched right through the uprights. So 52 to 5. as the Lions slowly walk back up to the 50 meter mark for the restart kick. Probably trying to waste some time. I don't think either team is uh, really wanting to play anymore, but the Lions still play hard. Thomas Mackin will do the kicking for the Lions. <coughs> A short drop kick. Gets the back bounce, but um, the Lions. Nice job by Gordon oh, Carnos yeah. recovering the kick. Great job there. Sheamus lifted off his feet and driven back. Like it was a good kick by Thomas Mack, and he kicked it, went 10 meters, and it bounced backwards. As there's going to be a scrum. Scrum. There appears to be some problem with the scrum, so the sir is going and making sure that it's safe for the players. Sam Green puts it in, and he'll take it again out the back. Green to Hanlon. Hanlon tries a nice chip kick. Nice and high. Cobras recover it. 
And Sumantri misses the tackle. Joseph Romero not able to make the open field tackle. And the Cobras with another try. And they are now at 57. <clears throat> not much of a game at this point. I would not be surprised if the Sir calls the end of the game early. I don't know if they would be able to do that since it's since it is the state championship, they'll probably play out the full the full game, but we have about seven minutes left, so we'll see what happens. And Coach Lanthier is putting in some subs. I think Max Staus might be coming into the game. Kick is good. So Max Staus is indeed coming into the game. Let's go, Flint Riders. So we'll see how he does. He did pretty well in the games during the season. Let's go, Max. And Connor Hanlon. Getting ready to kick once again to the Marist South Suburban Cobras. Go, nice kick. Him, yes, nice job by Ben Blood and Max Staus. They're going to force the Cobras into touch. So that's going to be a line out for the Lions. Nice job there by La Salette. And Roman Katsas will be doing the jumping. Nice shift back by the Lions. Good tip by Katsas, recovered by Hanlon. Seamus pushed back for several meters. Sam Green will go in and fish it out. Passing it out to Thomas Mackin and Sumantri to Joseph Romero on the outside who gets a bit of a breakaway. Oh, but unfortunately he's tackled into touch. Joseph Romero is another wing who has a lot of speed on the outside. Uh, we saw him get a try in the last couple games. Not able to get one there, but great effort, Joseph. Great effort. A good try there, try there by, or not try, because <laughs> you can't say that, but a good effort there. Um, Seamus Hanlon spun around, and unfortunately he was able, met by two Cobras, and he, he was pushed backwards, but he was you, you could just tell he was fighting to move forwards, and then they popped the ball out to Joe Romero. And Liam did say there were definitely some Division Two players on the Cobras team. He said he saw some familiar faces. as the Lions prepare themselves for yet another line out. Nice job by Roman Kotsis. Beautiful snag. Hanlon to Mackin. Mackin cutting in on the outside. A hard hit on the Cobras number 14. There's Sebastian Cook taking it in himself. Good ruck over there by the Lions. Green passes it in to no man's land. Hanlon will recover it and give it to Mackin. Mackin slips through and there's the high tackle.
Hanlon quick, quick taps it. And he tries to weave in. Looks like another high tackle, but the Sur doesn't see it. Roman Katsas taking it in. If the Lions are able to get it into their back line, they might be able to come away with another five points. Yeah, get it out to their wings. Nice job by Max Stouts, running low and hard. And there's Thomas Mackin trying to pass it out to Joseph Romero, who again passes it into no man's land. Connor Hanlon's pass is tipped. Enzo Nice still going. Enzo not quite able to get into the try zone. Lions right on the verge of scoring here. Just need to play smart and retain possession of the ball. And there's Sebastian Cook. Not quite able to get it down. Roman Kotz is taking it in. Got to make sure not to let the Cobras hold them up. Nice job by Darren Esparza. Swing it out to the wings again, and they could possibly get a score as the Cobras are cl clumped up. Cobras here. are definitely clumped up a lot in the rucks. So the Lions are able to get it out to Joseph Romero or Connor Thomas Hanlon Mackin even on the side. Connor Hanlon has a hole he can take. And, and there's a try by the Lions. I believe it was scored by Max Staus. Good job by Max. Great effort there from the Lions. So that is 10 points for the Lions. Great to see by the Lions that they were able to put up another try there before the end of the match. And as we near the end of the game, the ref should blow the whistle anytime soon, possibly after this kick. We'll see how Sumantri does. And the kick is no good. It's wide right. And that is the end of the game. So the Lions come up short. And they will take second place in the state for the Seaside. And we're going to quickly leave because we have the varsity state championship game coming up at about uh, at 3 o'clock. So we're going to quickly move over to the field and, or excuse me, to the pitch and set up for that game. Um, so please don't miss that. That's going to be a very exciting game. But until then, thank you very much for tuning in.